a pleasure, to welcome you to a new video today. In this video we will answer the question, what causes vomiting in dogs? Let's get started. Dogs vomit for many reasons. Some of the reasons are not cause for concern, but sometimes vomiting is a sign of a serious health problem that requires immediate veterinary attention. Learning to differentiate can be tricky, but it's important to know why dogs throw up, when you should be concerned, and what you can do to help. This guide will tell you what causes dog vomiting, help you identify the types of dog vomiting, and explain what to do and when it's time to call a vet. 1. Is it spitting up, or is it vomiting? One important thing to keep in mind is that vomiting and regurgitation in dogs are not the same. Dog vomiting is an active process and regurgitation a passive practice. Why do you need to know the difference? Because the causes and treatments for the two conditions are very different, and vomiting tends to be more of a concern than spitting up. Vomiting occurs when the contents of the stomach and upper part of the intestine are forcefully expelled. Dog vomit may contain yellow bile or dog food that has been partially digested and usually smells sour. Vomiting can occur directly after eating or at any time afterwards. It is usually preceded by signs of nausea, such as drooling, lip licking, and excessive swallowing. Some dogs may eat grass before or after vomiting, possibly to induce vomiting or protect the esophagus. They may also eat their own vomit. This is an instinct that dogs have that is very unattractive to us as humans, but it is not a big problem for dogs. Since vomiting causes dehydration, your dog may try to swallow a bowl of water whole after vomiting. This can lead to more vomiting, so try to limit your water intake to small amounts at a time. Regurgitation, on the other hand, is a mild expulsion of undigested food from the dog's esophagus, meaning it never made it to the stomach. An important difference is that regurgitation does not involve abdominal gagging. It usually happens shortly after eating, maybe your dog ate too much or too fast. Or your dog could be overly excited or stressed. 2. What is your dog's vomit like? Once you are fairly certain that your dog is vomiting and not spitting up, you can identify the type of vomit. The appearance of vomit can help determine the causes of vomiting in dogs. Yellow vomit. Yellow vomit is very common when a dog has an empty stomach, and the yellow color you see is due to bile secretions. This most commonly occurs in the middle of the night or early in the morning. Foamy white vomit. White, foamy vomit can be caused by a buildup of acid in the stomach. The frothy appearance may be due to vomit coming into contact with air or spilling into the stomach before vomiting occurs. Clear, liquid vomit. If your dog is vomiting a clear liquid, it can be caused by stomach secretions or when there is water accumulated in the stomach that rises on its own when vomiting. Oftentimes, this happens when a dog drinks while nauseated and cannot even retain water. Viscous vomit, similar to mucus. Viscous mucus-like vomit occurs when a dog drools and collects in the stomach in response to significant irritation. The dog relieves his nausea when he vomits the mucus. Vomit with blood, red or pink. Blood itself causes nausea, which is why it is often vomited if it collects in the upper gastrointestinal tract. If the color does not progress to red and the vomiting is not prolonged or profuse, the pink tint is not always a sign of an urgent situation. However, if there are blood clots, fresh blood, or an appearance of coffee grounds in the vomit, these things could indicate bleeding in the stomach or upper small intestine. Bleeding can be the result of an ulcer, tumor, lack of clotting, or ingestion of rat poison. All of these conditions need treatment as soon as possible. Brown vomit. Brown vomit could simply be food regurgitated from the esophagus that never made it to the stomach to be digested. Also, it may indicate that a dog ate too quickly and did not chew the food, or that it swallowed a lot of air when swallowing it. Traces of blood can appear brown at times if they are not profusely bloody. Brown vomit can also be an indicator of coprophagia, eating poop. Green vomit. Green vomit can be caused by eating grass. It can also be due to a contraction of the gallbladder before vomiting, usually on an empty stomach, which produces bile in the stomach. Worms in vomit. Worms and other infectious organisms can cause vomiting in dogs. If there are live worms or a large infestation, such as roundworms, a dog may vomit them up. Most commonly, they will shed eggs that can be found in the stool, and that's the only way to diagnose them. 3. Why is your dog vomiting? Different ages, breeds, and behaviors can make dogs more prone to vomiting. There can be external or internal causes, and there are many factors, including duration, color, severity, etc., that can play a role. Here is a list of possible causes of vomiting in dogs, either acute, one time, suddenly, or chronic, often occurring over time. Let's see. 
abrupt diet change, Addison's disease, inflammation, brain tumor, cancer, constipation, diabetes, drink contaminated water, eat grass, eat poop eating too fast, exercise after eating, food allergies or intolerances, gastritis or an upset stomach from eating junk or spoiled food, gastroenteritis, inflammation of the stomach and intestinal tract, gastrointestinal ulcers, side effects of drugs, heat stroke, hemorrhagic gastroenteritis, infections inflammatory bowel disease ingestion of toxic plants or other toxins, intestinal obstruction by foreign body, intestinal parasites, kidney disease liver disease meningitis, middle ear problem, motion sickness from traveling by car, pancreatitis parvovirus, reaction to a drug, etc. Chronic vomiting in dogs. A chronic condition is one that lasts a long time and can be constant or occasionally. Chronic vomiting in dogs can be frustrating if you don't know the cause. Some dogs are prone to vomiting regularly. Chronic vomiting in young dogs is often due to parasites or food sensitivities. It can also be due to certain diseases or health problems. Blood tests, x-rays, ultrasound, or biopsies are often needed to diagnose the problem. 5. Do you need to go to the vet if your dog is vomiting? If vomiting has been going on for less than 12 hours, and your dog is cheerful and not ingesting food and water, then it may be okay to wait and monitor the situation. One of the biggest dangers of vomiting in dogs is dehydration. When a dog becomes dehydrated, essential bodily functions begin to fail. It's time to call and visit your vet if your dog. He is a puppy. He is old. He is projectile vomit, potential sign of obstruction. He tries to vomit or gag and nothing comes out, a sign of bloating, which can be life-threatening. He vomits blood. Vomits pieces of a foreign object or a whole object. You are lethargic, a sign that your whole body is affected. He is urinating less, sign of dehydration. He has a tender or enlarged abdomen. He refuses food. He cannot retain small amounts of water. He shows signs of dehydration, skin does not snap back after gently pulling, gums dry. He has diarrhea with vomiting. You have pre-existing medical problems. He ate people's food. Vomiting often, chronic vomiting. He is losing weight due to frequent vomiting, chronic vomiting. You are declining in your overall appearance and demeanor, including weight loss, muscle wasting. Emergency situations. Things to keep in mind that would warrant an urgent visit to the vet or emergency clinic are. Vomiting accompanied by diarrhea, especially if it becomes bloody. Your dog becomes lethargic after vomiting or vomits with tremors. Your dog eats a foreign object, a known toxin, or something you suspect may be toxic. Projectile vomit could indicate a foreign object has been eaten. 7. What can be given to a dog to stop vomiting at home? There are some home remedies you can try if your dog has mild vomiting and is not exhibiting any of the serious symptoms listed above. Pepto-Bismol is not a preferred treatment for dogs. The concern about Pepto-Bismol is that it contains salicylic acid, which is an ingredient in aspirin. We must use this with caution, especially in dogs taking anti-inflammatories or steroids, as it could cause gastrointestinal bleeding. Pepsidac, Famotidine, and Prilosec, Omeprazole, are safer options to help reduce acid production and acid reflux, and these often calm the stomach. 8. How to prevent some cases of vomiting in dogs. Many causes of vomiting in dogs cannot be prevented, but some can be if you follow these rules. Don't change your dog's diet all of a sudden. Always use a gradual approach. Don't give your dog toys that can be swallowed or chewed to pieces, thus causing gastrointestinal irritation or blockage. Don't give your dog bones. Avoid table scraps. Do not allow your dog to search for food on walks or when accessing garbage cans. Look closely at overly curious dogs. You may even want to wear a muzzle to prevent them from eating anything they might encounter on their walks. I hope this video will be of great help. If you liked it, do not hesitate to subscribe and share it. Develops your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate bad behavior and create the obedient, well-behaved pet of your dreams, click here below. A greeting.